I'm back home. This is uh, my brother's beautiful backyard. It's been my oasis, uh, my little home studio for the last few days in Tampa. Um, of course, today I finally found a fan. So Kara, you know I love a good wind blowing through the hair look and that's what we got going on right now. It's it's literally dropped it, the temperature. It feels so good. But I wanna tell you real quick, sorry my voice is hoarse. I went out with my high school friends last night we caught up some of them i hadn't seen in you know 10 years and we laughed one of them brought our old uh, yearbook our photo albums um and i know you're the same way when you go home and i mean we did not stop laughing and talking so forgive me guys but it's for a good reason uh we were reminiscing and just had so much fun it was awesome so fun seeing I, everyone, you know? I love that uh, so much for you. I'm so happy that you're home and there's nothing like friends you've had forever. I mean, the bond that you have. I mean, it, yeah. I think you're too, you're somebody that you never meet a stranger. So I always laugh because no matter where you go, you always end up with the best friend. So I can't imagine how excited they were Aww. to see you too and reminisce on, on you're my best years friend. past. You are. It's so fun. I love that for you. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're having such a great time. Um, let's get into some good stories, shall we? Okay. Um, I love let's this first one so much. I love all the stories we do on here, but this one uh, touched my heart. Um, so it takes place in a hospital in Minnesota, and a young man named Chris has been sending and giving um, some music for people in this hospital. And here's how that came about. He is actually homeless and his girlfriend got sick, not with COVID related issues, but um, with a, a blood problem. She was having a blood infection and um, they went to the hospital. She was admitted and he asked because he saw this beautiful baby grand piano in the lobby and he asked, may I play? And the hospital administrator said, sure, you can play. And little did they know that his uh, music would be something that would calm and give hope and relax everyone going into that facility course, for the weeks yeah. that he has been there and he's been playing oh. um, beautiful music for them. I mean, the hospital can be such a scary place, especially during times like these. And it, it has yes. not only been helping the patients, but it has also been helping the people who work there. Um, one of the nurses said she just right. lost her brother to COVID and uh, she has to get up and she has to go to work every day and hearing the beautiful melodies that he plays on the piano has really put her heart at ease as so many others. Um, they are moving along. Um, his girlfriend was released and she's doing much better, thankfully. Um, but, um, you know, they said you always have a place here to come and play oh and, and make us smile for the time that you are. So oh. just doing some good where he can when he was probably feeling very worried for, for his sweet girlfriend, Lauren. So um, yeah. thank you for giving music to those who need it. Music always helps. It does. And Kara, you never know. Maybe he's going to continue, you know, dropping by and, you know, continuing to provide this hope and, and you know, spread his cheer because um, it's, it really makes such a difference. I hope he does that. Just drop by and it does. play. It would be it amazing. Does. He said that he would be back, so um, something for them all to look forward to. Yes. Um, hopefully, just in a playing capacity, Yay. obviously. But he will be back. He will be back to play. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. This next one <laughs> yes, is right. from the great state of Georgia. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we love Woo. telling stories that are in our own backyard, and this one is. So Krista is the granddaughter of David and Loretta Bauer, and this is the sweetest story. So the Bowers are 91 years old. They've been married for over 70 years, and Loretta got um, sick a few weeks back and had to have a surgery. And due to COVID, obviously, yeah. uh, Mr. Bowers wasn't allowed to go into the hospital with her, so they were separated for over a week. Um, she, her surgery was successful. Uh, Miss Loretta is doing fine. And oh, here good. is the good. reunion of them reuniting after not having seen each other oh. for that amount of time. I don't know if you could hear in the video, but I mean, you can you can definitely feel this video. It's palpable how much they love each other. 
when you see them embrace. And he is so excited. And she says when she gets out of the car, your boss is home, dear. Your boss is home. <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. And um, oh Krista, my God, I love it. Krista said she just, I know that she had to capture that moment because she knew how glorious it was going to be and that they are both uh, prayerful people and he was praying the whole time that she would be home okay and she has a clean bill of health and now they can be together uh, once more but just a yes. sweet sweet video <laughs> once more so so sweet true love I wonder what this their secret is I mean that's that's um, not just to a long healthy life but to their marriage we need to find that out <laughs> Find out, Kara. Right, I know. Maybe do you some digging. Do some show. digging. Okay, we'll and you have one contact with Krista. Special. Okay. <laughs> and well, you got one more okay. Special. So we here at ANC, um, Christine and I are so excited to say that it is a man we love very much. It's his birthday today. Roll the beautiful Trent Gilbreth footage. Trent. Yes, we love you so much, Trent. Happiest birthday. Uh, you are just such an incredible, incredible man, incredible friend. Uh, incredible colleague, we just love you so much. How cute is that? I think Danielle did that. I love it. We love you. We gotta celebrate we love when you all this is over. We love you. Yes, we love you. Thank you, Kara. And guys, if you have a fun or interesting, Thank it's you. all good story, Kara would love to share it with you. It's facebook.com slash ATL and co, or tweet us using the hashtag, it's all good, it is.